from the land of Canada. My name is Matt and welcome back to another tutorial. I'm going to be showing you guys how to build number five, the invisible staircase. Uh, all right, so basically you stand on this pressure pad and it pushes these two um, stairs back as well as pulls these two stairs aside. So it leaves a four by four drop for anybody to fall down. And it's pretty effective. The only thing is that they can kind of see the little bit of the green there from the sticky piston. But uh, if it's well lit, like say that I would go ahead and put a torch down because I didn't even think of that, right? <laughs> you put a torch down here or here and honestly it's not even that bad. It, you kind of don't even notice the green a little bit, you know? Like uh, if you put them every, if you spam torches everywhere, you know, like just everywhere kind of distracts them from the green. So, doosh, and they don't see it. Pressure pads are kind of obvious though. <laughs> That you can't really cover up though. So basically what happens is when they step on the pressure pads, it powers this piece, this line of redstone, which unpowers these two redstone torches, which are all keeping these pistons powered, the as well as these two in the back here. And uh, they're sticky obviously, so that when they become unpowered by standing on this, it pulls them back and it reveals a four by four drop in which uh, people can fall down and basically they're trapped. So uh, I'm gonna build this and it's pretty quick honestly. So we're just gonna build this over here. Just gonna clear out a little bit of an area. Okay. So we're gonna start off with a piston there and a piston there. And then what happens is you go ahead and take a staircase. Any staircase that you want. We could use nether bricks if we want. Put it there and there. Then your pressure pads are going to be here and here, and then what you do is you just go all the way down here. And you put down two pieces of redstone, and then two redstone torches. Then what you want to do is make the redstone torch power redstone that is going to be going all the way up here. Like this. And you want to make it go over like this as well. Because you're going to be ha you're going to have redstone to uh, pistons in the back here as well as here, that are going to both have the stairs on them. So, when you go ahead and do something like this, and you hook it up all the way in the back, which is almost max range, uh, but it's not quite max range. It's uh, pushes the one out perfectly. So, then what we could do is set it all up. Oh, I broke that for some reason. I actually needed to keep it there. And then you do this, bring it all the way back here, and there you go. Pretty simple, pretty easy to do, and uh, very effective. I like it. It's also also what you could do is say that you want to uh, like hide away some of your things, right? What you could do is you could like go ahead and take like a lever or something, and hide it on the side here, and just have it. Uh, just have everything be like this, right? Which is pretty interesting. And what you would do, oh, oops, is just have it down like that. And like you, you could have, uh, and then you flick this torch, and it all opens up. And say that you wanted to like hide something, right? You could have, you could have uh, chests under here, just like here, as well as here, and here. Wait. Oh yeah, you can't put them side by side, but still. You just flick it, closes up, and there's your chests. And you can open them because they're not underneath the uh, stairs. Well, they're underneath stairs, so it's uh, counts as an invisible block, which is sweet. Closes them up, opens it up. It's sweet. It's awesome. All right. Well, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Check out the top ten if you haven't already. And uh, thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Peace.